Hi, welcome to Terra. I'm Allie from the Terra team and I'm going to walk through part one of the Workflows Quick Start. Hopefully you've already copied the Quick Start workspace. You'll know it's your own copy because it will have your billing project listed right up here and the name that you gave it right up here. You can also go down and right click to open step-by-step -step instructions in a separate tab. The first step is to simply run a workflow. It's mostly set up for you and this exercise is just to show you the mechanics of running a workflow on Terra. We're going to run on a sample that's in the sample table which is already in the workspace and you're going to start by going to the workflows tab and selecting the part one cram to bam workflow. When you click on the workflow name, you'll be taken to this configuration form, which is where you do all of the setup inside Terra. So some things are already set up. The version is fine. We want to run the workflow with inputs defined by the data table, so the correct radio button is selected. We're going to run on data that's in the sample table, so that is correct. And all the inputs and outputs and things from the bottom of the form have already been filled out. First, we're going to select data. And for this exercise, you only need to run on one sample. I suggest starting with the NA12878 sample, so you just select it right here and hit the OK button. Notice that the Run Analysis button is blue and you are ready to go. To start the analysis, you click the Run Analysis button. You're going to be asked to confirm your launch. It tells you a little bit the engine of Cromwell and what region the execution will be run in the Google Cloud Platform and that it will launch one analysis. So select launch and Terra will take you to the job history tab which gives you a running commentary on the status of your workflow right here. Notice that it's queued which means that it's in line to be run but not yet there. And refresh to see if the status changes. You notice that it's moved to launching now. Some steps take a little bit of time. There's a lot of things going on behind the curtain. Now the status is submitted, which means that everything is set up and it's waiting for the virtual machine. When you refresh it and it's done, you will see under status a nice green check mark and succeeded. Congratulations for running your first workflow. Going back to the data table, you expand the sample table. You notice there are now three additional columns, an analysis ready BAM index, an analysis ready BAM, and a validation report. In the next part, we'll talk about how these showed up in the data table.